Hello everybody and welcome to Crafty Bonker. I am Paradi and I'm so happy to have you here. In this video, I will show you guys how I made this alcoholic trinket dishes. They can also be used as coasters. I have made a few before and I love making these so this time I thought I will share the process with you guys. These are really fun to make so let's get started. As you can see, I'm all prepared with my supplies. I'm using these hexagon molds. I've kept them upside down to avoid any dust. These are the inks I'm using. They're all piñata alcohol inks. I'm using white piñata as well. It comes in a big bottle but I poured it in this small needle bottle as it is easy to use. I've already mixed my resin. I have my heat gun out. I'm also using some holographic glitter. I will start by pouring the resin. And before I add the inks, I will burst the bubble. And for the bigger ones, I'm using popsicles to bring them to the surface and burst them. Sprinkling the glitter now and now to my favorite part of adding ink. Shaking the inks before I start adding them in. What I'm doing is just adding the color in and on top I will add the white. White is the heaviest and it pushes the alcohol ink to the bottom which will actually be the top part of these dishes and it will give a really cool effect. Alcohol ink is actually light. Without white it will just sit at the top which is technically the bottom after demolding. It is just a time lapse after I was done adding the ink. Okay guys, so these are completely cured and it's time to demold. I am not going to show you guys this right away. I want to sand these small sharp edges first. I am using a sandpaper. And to avoid the dust from going everywhere, I will make it wet. I am very gently sanding the edges and remember not to sand the surface as that would scratch the surface and you will have to do a clear resin layer.
Okay, so it's time now. Look how bright and cool these look. I was going to do a clear resin layer for extra shine, but I don't think that is required now. I really love how colorful these look and the patterns by alcoholing are so cool. I just love these. Although this wasn't the first time I made this, but I learned that alcohol ink does move to the center and this is why the edges are clear and this is not what I wanted. The ones I've made before this did not happen. I actually never knew that this is possible. So my tip for you guys in these kind of elevated edges molds is to pour the resin in the center, put some alcohol ink in and then again pour the resin in the center this way the color will move to the edges and you won't get clear edges like this one i've done this before but it was unintentional and the edges were colored which i really liked but anyways it's pretty good i even like the back as it looks really abstract but if you want you can put cork on this side if you don't want it to be visible but i'm just going to leave it like that thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed the video and found it helpful, please hit the like button, share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And do come check me out on Instagram at Crafty Bonker. See you guys next time.